Hello friends. In this part 4 of database connectivity, we will see how to navigate records. In the previous lectures, we have seen how to create database using service-based database. We have learned how to establish a connection between the forms and service-based database. In this lecture, we will see how to add, delete and save the records. So we were doing this project, we have the CLG database, we have the data set and also we have three tables, course, marks and student table. Also we have created one query. If you see this form, we have some buttons here, new, save, delete, search and update. So in this lecture we will learn how to write a code for adding a new record for saving it and to delete the new records with the help of this form. Also you can see here that we have some binding controls here on the component and the binding source is student binding source. So when I click on this new button, I want to add a new record. So for this I will refer the binding source student binding source dot add new similarly I want that when I click on this save button the record will be saved into the database so here I will write me dot validate And I refer the binding source me dot student binding source dot and edit. You can check the name of the adapter. So here the table adapter manager. So here I will refer me dot table adapter manager dot update all and here I refer my data set e dot data set name is CLG data set CLG data set that is done also just to get a notification or something a message that everything went well or the record is saved you will display one message here message box we'll write here some message as an acknowledgement that the record has been saved record saved now we'll run this code and before running this code we have to make one thing sure that in your database go to the properties of database here in the properties, this copy to output directory, it should be copy if newer. That means whenever you make some changes to your database, it is to be updated. If you make any changes, it will be uh, updated in your database also. So when I run it, so you can see we have some records here. Record 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's say I want to add a new record. So I click on new. ID, let's say 55. Five. Name is, let's say, every. And date of birth is mm, I select. 78 July 19 July 78 and the gender is female now click on save we got a message record saved so now we have five records this is the first record the fifth record just close this and just to make sure that the record is actually added to your database we'll run it again 
and we find here that we are still showing the five records. So if you go to the last record, this is the last record which we have added. Now, so we are able to add a new record, we are able to save it. Now we want to delete the records. So we'll write the code for the delete button. Go to your form, double click on it, and here we will write me dot validate then me dot binding source student binding source dot remove current and you will update this so for updation we will write me dot Apple adapter manager dot update all and we'll find us the data set p dot clg data set and also in this case also we will give some message here message box record deleted record now we'll see it. We'll run the code. So here we have five records here. So I'll go to record one, two, three, four. Let's say this is the fourth record. Forty-four is the ID. SD, SD is the name. So I just click on delete. The message showing is record deleted. When you click on it, OK, we'll see here we have four records. So if we navigate this record, we can see here record one is Harris 22, 33, and 55. Fourth record is deleted. So just I'll close this and I will run it again just to make sure that record is deleted or not. So we have the four records here, it's showing here. We have the four records. So we'll check record number one. This is ID 112233 and 55. So we are able to delete the record. So we have new, save, delete code. We have finished. Now, in the next lecture, we can see how we can search or update the existing records or how we can search any record from our existing database. Thank you.